Yes, guys, welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. It's Ben here today. We're going to be giving a reaction to yet some more slander about our club from Romelu Lukaku. This is the third time now off the top of my head that I can think has happened. Obviously, the first one being the, uh, the big interview where everything came out, slating that he doesn't think he fits in his Chelsea team. Tuchel's tactics are wrong around him. And, you know, he told uh, Latoro Martinez um, that he's coming home and not to sign for Chelsea. Uh, then, obviously, the, I can't remember what happened the second time, but I know he came out a second time and said something. Uh, and now this time, he has now recently said that he doubted the move to begin with and knew that if the uh, transfer wasn't to go to the best of his ability, that if it didn't work out, that he was always coming back to Inter Milan. Now, it's stupid. It is so stupid. It's unprofessional. It's embarrassing. And surely, you know, if you love Inter Milan this much, if you if your heart, you know, and your you know, you love this club so much that you say you do, surely the thing on your mind would be the Champions League final. You know, Inter Milan are in the Champions League final for the first time in ages. You know, probably since they won it actually. Um, against Manchester City, who are yet to win the Champions League. Now, going into that game, everyone and their dog knows that Man City are the favourites and that Inter Milan have got to pull out the performance of their life. And that should surely be the more important thing than just taking digs at the club that loaned you out to Inter Milan. Like, and that is why it's just embarrassing and unprofessional. Um, clearly, we live in this guy's head rent-free apparently, because he talks so much about us. You know, oh, you know what? Bowley is an idea, mate. You know, if you want to rebuild the stadium, if you want a temporary stadium, build one in his head because we, we can get it rent-free and it's big enough, you know? Um, but honestly, like, I don't know how many more chances this guy can get. I mean, he's not getting one from me and realistically, at this point, you know, giving someone a fourth chance, you know, it's just another fourth bullet that you're going to let them shoot you with because they missed the first three. Um... And, and yeah, anyone who really wants to give this guy another chance, I'm just going to tell you right now that if you look up, it does say gullible on the ceiling. Uh, or it rhymes with orange, you know. Never know. Either one. But realistically, um, this guy's done. All right? Uh, get him out of the club. I mean, if it was up to me, personally, uh, and I really hope this happens to him, uh, in the most professional way possible, I hope he never plays football again. I hope he comes back to Chelsea. Gets put on the reserves, not even loaned out. But at this point, we've lost our money with him. All right, we, we're not gonna. We can maybe make a little bit back, but we have lost our money in him. I would rather lose at this point twenty million or so uh, that we could have got from Inter back on him, um, make it a complete loss, and just let him sit on the reserves, never play football again. You know, if he wants to really mess with us, let's mess with him. Let's stick him on the reserves. Let's make sure he has to train every day as well, so he can't just go and enjoy his life and get paid by Chelsea. He has to train with the reserves. He has to sit those reserves. He doesn't even get to start for the reserves. I mean, to be honest, there's probably a better striker in the reserves than there is like at Romelu Lukaku. Can't lie. At least he has a decent first touch as well. Um, and then just make sure he doesn't go out because then lack of football, he, he won't get picked for Belgium. Lack of football, no club's going to want him. Uh, and then he just sort of rots out. And... That's personally what I hope happens to the bloke because you don't slag off the club that I love. You don't slag off the club that I follow pretty much week in, week out, you know, bar, you know, extenuating circumstances. You don't say that about a club. It's, it's unprofessional. Like, what do you, what realistically, Lukaku, what do you expect to get from this? Apart from PR followers, professionally speaking, in your football career, what do you expect to get from this, by the way? Because... You come in here, you're slagging us off. You're on loan to Inter Milan. You have not been sold. Like the plan, pretty much, well, the plan was, you know, what was talked about, you know, Lukaku was going to come back into Chelsea um, and play, you know, under Pochettino, you know, just to save money and, you know, invest in other areas of the um, pitch where we really need help, like a DM, potentially a new keeper, probably a new centre-back. Um, you know, if just to cover for Thiago Silva, because realistically, you know, I can't really expect the bloke to play every minute of every game next season. Uh, yeah, we got Badashile. Yeah, we got um, Trev. Yeah, we got uh, Fafana. Um, but, you know, we can always do backup. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, waffling. Let's get back to the main topic. Uh, Lukaku. Uh, I mean, what's he expecting? Like, it, it just baffles me how someone can be so talented, so like have this ability, 
but be so stupid. Like, okay, he's had a great career. Yeah, you know, he claims to be a Chelsea fan. He claims to love everything, but clearly he doesn't because why would you slag off the club you love? I mean, yes, we do it on fan cams every week. We know, but we still love the club. We we just want we're just we're just moaning about what we want to change. Lukaku's just moaning. Like, and I just don't understand what the end goal is here. Like, I, I'm just thinking, what the fuck are you on about, mate? Um, and it's just honestly, just recording this is frustrating me, guys. Like, uh, this is because. I don't know what to say about this guy because all he's doing is just slandering us. He's just this, it's just that. It's just constant, you know. And yeah, I, I, what, Does he want us to support Man City in the Champions League final? Because the way it's going, either I hope he doesn't play the final and then win it so that he wasn't involved in it, or I just hope City absolutely blitz them out of the water. Because I, you know, they're one of their star players is lagging us off. You don't deserve the Champions League, and to be honest, this is probably the one season Man City do deserve the Champions League. You know, normally it was like easy groups, easy knockouts, easy way through. Mate, this time they've gone through all right, semi easy group, but they've gone through Leipzig, they've gone through Bayern Munich, they've gone through Real Madrid, they're now going through Inter Milan. That is a decent route to the trophy. So for once, you know, if Man City do win it, fair play to Man City. Um, if Lukaku's playing, I personally do hope Man City win it. Uh, only on the fact that they deserve it. On the fact that, you know, I don't want Lukaku to get a Champions League medal. Because I don't really want him, you know, saying, oh, I did this with Inter, but couldn't do it with Chelsea. Like, you just know he's going to use every single bit to try and contact us again. To, like, to just have a dig at us again. Uh, or, personally, how I would love the Champions League final to go now is... Pretty much Lukaku versus Croatia. Yes, that World Cup game where he missed five key chances. Uh, but then this time, I would just personally love Haaland to just run down the other end. No, 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 let's go former Chelsea. Let's go the, the guy he actually uh, used to play with. Let's go De Bruyne. I hope De Bruyne goes down the other end uh, and scores after Lukaku misses like several, several, several chances. That's how I personally want the Champions League final to go. Anyway, guys, that was just a small rant. Uh, I say small, I, I kind of waffled on a little bit. But what do you think about Lukaku's comments? Uh, put your comments in below. Put your thoughts. Do you want to give him another chance? Obviously, I don't. Um, you know, it, do, is there a reason why you think he's doing this? You know, just, just put all your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you like that video, guys. And make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Uh, obviously, just show your support. Um, we're uploading popular videos every week also we've been doing fan cams and obviously with the end of the season coming we will be doing you know a, a regular content still so uh, do look forward to that but in the meantime guys that is me coming off for today um peace